I promise, this will be just a short video. So today I want to share with you on how I managed to install Witcher 3 on my Huawei P60 Pro. And no, this is not a mobile version. This is the PC game that is being run on the P60 Pro, which has a quite old processor already. It's almost two years old. It's a Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 processor and we still managed to run Witcher 3. And no, this won't be exclusive to the Huawei P60 Pro. You could actually uh, run this emulator on other smartphones as well if you wanted to. But I would suggest that you uh, run it on a smartphone with a powerful processor like the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 or Gen 2 or even the 8 Elite processor which is the latest one on uh, the smartphones this 2025. So let's do it. How did I manage to install Witcher 3 on my Huawei P60 Pro? So there are actually a lot of guides already, but I'm going to teach you the easiest one. So you just want to see the proof of concept on how this one works. So first, you need to download any game actually that has DRM free. But for me, I just managed to run Witcher 3 because this is the uh, game that I already have on my laptop. And this is the game that is already DRM free. You need to have a DRM free game to in, in order to play this PC games on your smartphone. So in my case, I have the Witcher 3 on GOG, which we all know that it's DRM free. If we're running it on Steam, if we're downloading games on Steam, you won't be able to run Steam on our emulator called win later or you can even um have games that you just copy the folder from steam to your smartphone you need to have it drm free like the one on gog now while downloading that i've also downloaded win later on the win later uh, website on my smartphone which is basically on the huawei p60 pro and it's a quiet small um application and all i need to do is install it via the file manager and then voila you could actually run win later already on your smartphone next is to uh transfer the folder that you downloaded or the game that you downloaded on your laptop to your smartphone so i suggest that you put it on the downloads folder which will be accessible easier later on next is open the win later application and create a container along with the preferred screen size and everything on the smartphone what i suggest is that if you have a smartphone that you think isn't that powerful enough or you think isn't you know calibrated or optimized enough you could check out the internet for the specifications or the settings that you need to set up for your smartphone as for me i've already used the default one i just uh, use a smaller resolution because again this is just a smartphone processor and we're running here a pc game so and it's also an emulator by the way so i just managed to run it at 960 by 540 as long as it's 16 by 9. so of course my suggestion also would be a snapdragon processor because for mediatek processor we're having some issues running with later and also the drivers and emulation on the mali gpu was having problems compared to the adreno one on our um, smartphone so as you can see from here we're already running the win later application and we do have here a windows like uh, ui on the huawei p60 pro in my case i just went to drive d which is already there on win later and i just opened the exe file of witcher 3 so in my case for Witcher 3, I just double tap on Witcher3.exe so I could automatically run uh, the game already on the smartphone. I know it took a little bit of time before you can run Witcher 3 because of some adjustments that needs to be done on the smartphone, but we're able to run Witcher 3 on the smartphone. Now you might ask me, it's a touch screen. You don't have keyboard. You need a gamepad for this one. I agree. It's better to have a gamepad or it's better to have a keyboard or mouse for this one. However, for me, there's also, for when later, there's also an input control that lets you use virtual gamepad. And voila, you now have here the Xbox uh, controller on the, uh, on the uh, win later. Yes, as you can see right now, we're running Witcher 3 at playable speeds. Right now on the launcher screen, it's uh, 60, frames per second but i'm gonna show you once we put into the game uh we can run it at around 20 to or more but of course if you have a more powerful processor you will be able to run uh, the game at a higher frames per second so there we go 
It's already uh, it's only at 19 uh, because uh, we're in Kahirmohen and uh, you could see in here there's a lot of things uh, to see on Witcher 3 and yes you can actually control Geralt on uh, the built-in analog and of course the less uh, graphics to load in the better it is the faster it is so right now it's running at 20 frames per second but again if you are using a more powerful processor if you've optimized actually the settings of uh, the game itself for for the smartphone you would be able to run um, uh, a higher frames per second on this one but again i would suggest that you have a uh, gamepad with you a physical gamepad with you like a playstation controller xbox controller to play games like this one uh, on your p60 pro so yeah i guess that's it for our video for today i know it's a pretty cool and, and amazing idea i've also saw, saw some people who were playing gta 5 uh using win later on their smartphone that's a pretty amazing feat but you also have to worry about the storage because PC games tend to have a bigger requirement for storage. For this one alone, I need 44 gigs for Witcher 3, I think, without the DLC. So yeah, I guess that's it for our video on how to run PC games on your Huawei P60 Pro or on your Android smartphone. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I'm, I'm jumpjumonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.